Hi there, Susan. This is Jared from LA Nissan here. Sorry about the delay. We were a little bit busy earlier on the day. It must be the nice weather bringing people out. But as I promised, a quick video on the Rogue SL, uh, what it has to offer, and then I will follow it up with an SV video, maybe later this evening or possibly tomorrow, depending on how our evening goes. But anyway, what remains consistent on all of these rows is going to be the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that produces 170 horsepower and a CVT transmission that basically translates to savings at the pump and a very very smooth ride. LED daytime running lights, LED headlights on the SL as well which is awesome, forward collision warning, uh, intelligent cruise on this one as well. Uh, this is one of the pro pilots so I'll get into how that works as soon as we jump into the cabin. But let's uh, wrap around the stride here. You're going to get the two-tone 19-inch alloys with the SL, very, very sharp indeed. Uh, you can get four cameras on this vehicle for the all-around camera view system. You can get intelligent key. You can lock and unlock the door by pressing the button. You pop inside. It is pushing for an ignition. Uh, that was just paged back to let us know that the keys are inside the interior. You can now actually uh, lock the keys in this vehicle, which is a nice feature. Um, platinum Reserve interior is going to give you that brown leather, very sharp indeed, very spacious in the back, sliding second row, which is very uncommon on uh, the competitors, so that's always nice to see, power lift gate, and it seems like this one is dying, so it uh, happens with the showroom model, it's very frequently about it. Nice cargo space in the back, Nissan's divide and hide cargo system as well, hopefully I can show you that on the SV. Alright, so when you jump in the cabin, all power options like you'd come to ex expect. You do have memory seating on this one as well. Heated steering wheel, heated seats, which is very nice. Beautiful panoramic moonroof, dual climate control on this as well. Um, you do have advanced uh, drive display assist here. Uh, has a whole bunch of useful information. When you press this button right here on the ProPilot, it's going to engage the ProPilot just like turning on cruise control. And from there, as soon as the cameras catch the lines on either side of you, it's going to start ProPilot um, as long as you have the feature engaged, which it is by default. So uh, then your following distance is controlled by the intelligent cruise control, the sonar system, and then the lane departure intervention is, is what's going to control the steering wheel along with those two side uh, cameras there. So basically autonomous driving, very, very sharp feature. Um, when you come down on Tuesday, hopefully we can take it for a spin on the highway and show you how it works. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.